hours later, he's on the cross. He's between two sinners, which for me, I said to God last night, why, why is it important that you're in the middle? And because that's where the focus is held. When you're looking at something to the left or to the right, if something's in the middle, it means it holds your focus. And, and God said to me really clearly, he was completely innocent without a spot or blemish, but yet he was placed in the position of the most, biggest sinner of all of them. He held the centre, everyone's gaze. Those that loved him were trying to come to terms with it. And life just went on. Then roughly around three o'clock, the high priest again went to the highest point of the temple and he blew the shofar again. And at that point, in the silence of that moment, because everyone respected it, outside of the city walls, there was a cry. It is finished. It is finished. In the, in the Hebrew, finished means nashah, nashah, which means it's a, it's a accounting term, which means the price has been fully paid, fully paid. Not one thing is owing, not one thing is left fully and absolutely debt-free. It's also a root of shalom, which also means peace, but it also means wholeness. Completely whole. This is his blood that he shed freely as a gift for you. Crying, not out of a broken man, not as a sinner, not as someone that deserved it, but he cried out, hey, it's finished. You are completely free. Your debt has been paid and you are whole. Nothing lacking. There's nothing lacking in you. Your debt today has been completely paid. Amen. For those that are in debt, <laughs> this is why you struggle to come to communion. For those that are still focused on the cross as where your sin is, let me tell you, I'm a person that's in debt, completely. There's people in this room that I owe so much to, not just financially, but for their love and their support and their, their non-judgment of the situation that I'm in. And I'll tell you what happens if you owe a debt. For those that are in there, say I owe John a debt and I can't pay him. I'm not gonna walk up and go, hey brother, how are you? Come here, mate. Hey, come here, give me a hug. Yep. What do I do? I stay away. I don't come near him. Why? Because I'm ashamed. I'm embarrassed. And I'm in fear. For some of you, you've had debts where it's a life and, life and death situation. Okay? And you can't. You have to change your dress. You have to change your name and run as far as you can. But that's not where the cross is. This is not a place where you come and go, oh, I don't think I'm worthy of this. You aren't worthy. It's not about that. You owe nothing. You know, this, this was his blood, freely given. You don't owe anything. You don't have to avoid him. You don't have to avoid the cross. 
What the cross is, is a place of wholeness. It's a place of life. It's a place when you feel that, you know what, I have completely stuffed it. It's a place where you come and you go, you know what, I'm just going to come and I'm going to thank you. It is Thanksgiving. That's why it says he took the cup and he thanked. You know, we thank. No. It's a place of thanksgiving. That's what it is. So let's take this small cup that we take every week and let's remember that he has finished it, not out of brokenness, but out of life he's done this. Let's drink.